Hey guys, so I was going to make a quick video of sort of a quick unboxing of what I got from Blick.com. And most of this video is going to be talking about just color pencils and adult coloring books sort of in general. I already opened this because I was too excited to wait. And I cut one of the flaps off because it had my address wrote all over it. But anyway, it came really well packaged, honestly. This was all manufacturedly taped. And this was all shoved in here really good. Sorry. Um, and here's the website that I got it from. You can see, dickblick.com. I did a video before this one. I'll try to link it down below where, I'm expl where I explain. I focus mostly on Prismacolors, but it, this website has many other art materials besides just the Prismacolor brand. Um, but I tell you more of like prices and things. Like I'll show you the receipt on how much I got these for, but if you want to know how much they are retail price compared to how much I saved, go back and watch that video. Like I said, I will try to link that below. So like I said, this was all manufacturedly taped. All of this was shoved in there really well, which by the way, these are recyclable. Recy I can't say it, you know what I mean. And this was wrapped in complete cellophane, if you can see. And it came in upside down. And it was all the way wrapped in cellophane, and I just took that off. So I got the Prismacolor Premier 48 set from here. And I'll try to get you in closer. Hold on. Okay, in that video that I made, that I'll, like I said, I'll try to link down below on how to save money on art supplies, I showed you that I already purchased the Prismacolor premier 12 set from Walmart which I got for $15 at Walmart and I do remember on the this website this 12 set is actually like I think $7 um, but I'll show you I know the sunlight is going to make everything all weird but I'll just show you really quick the 48 set you get two layers here try to make sure you are focused that sunlight's going to make everything really weird. But there's one layer. I'll actually zoom in for you. I'll come up close. And then here is the second layer. I really like my Prismacolors. I know people have complained about breakage and things. Some of that is human error, though. It's all a personal thing. You can also use whatever. Sorry, I keep getting messages. So on this website for the 48 set, after everything is said and done with, oops, shipping and handling and all that, I paid $40 for that set. And Amazon right now is actually selling Prisma colors even cheaper than that. So during this season, I would look on Amazon. And I still use... My fine touch pencils, in case you saw that review. I still really like these pencils. I just wanted more Prism colors. So I did want to talk a little bit about adult coloring books while we're here. I recently bought this one, and I've actually really liked and enjoyed the adult coloring books <clears throat> little trend that's going on here lately. I know that it's been around for a while, but it's gotten really big here lately. Um, this one I purchased, believe it or not, at the Dollar General, and it was, I think I paid $7, this says $7.99, and it's from Penny Press, and Penny Press, I think, is a company that makes, like, crosswords and things like that, but when I look up others, I did order another coloring book from Walmart, and it's the Pop Manga one, that should be arriving here in a few days, um, but when I've looked up several reviews of different <clears throat> sorry brands of coloring books a lot of people have said something about the paper not being as thick this paper is extremely thick which is awesome for mixed media so I mean color pencils markers paint you name it this paper will work with it and I really like how thick the paper is I also like how the pictures here are only printed one side you don't have them on both sides, and that's awesome in case you get that bleed through. Um, I'd prefer it like this than the the like the Joanna brand ones where it's on both sides. But I was going to do a flip through of some of the ones that I've completed. A lot of these I haven't done a sky for yet because I'm still kind of practicing on blending and mixing colors with skies. 
Um, but this book is amazing. I really like this book. I got the... This one is The Landscapes. It's Living Colors, Creative Expression, Volume, volume 4, and this is 39 Peaceful Landscapes. And I wanted to do landscapes instead of just people so I could get more like of a natural feel, I don't know, with my colors. Let me actually bring you in even more. Maybe that's easier to see. So yeah, I used both Prismacolor and Fine Touch colored pencils on all of these pictures. And they work really well together. Of course, they're both wax-based pencils. I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter if it's wax-based, water-soluble, oil-based. You should be able to mix your pencils however way you like. Now, if you notice that this artwork is like a different style than this, like this is more crisp, clean, bold lines, and this isn't. So to me, I don't know if that's what the intentions were. I feel like the pictures that is the style like this, I wanted it to look almost like a painting more than a coloring. So I like using pastel colors, really bright, funky, weird colors with this type of style. And I did another one that I'll show you here in a minute. This one, I need a better way to blend my black. But I wanted to do a night scene with like the light glowing. But yeah, I need to figure out a way to make that black a lot darker. And yeah, I color swatch all over my books. And this is meant to be snow. I haven't really mastered how to portray snow very well with colored pencils. Um, but I really like this book because it basically marks where your shading will be to compare to like your highlighted areas, your brighter areas. And I feel like it would be a great way to teach yourself um, shading and lighting. Like, you know, where should my shading be? Where's my light source? I don't know, I just feel like it's great practice for that. Here's another one like that that I just recently completed that I, I love this. And I wanted to make it very pastel-y, almost like a painting. Just a very different style. This one is probably my favorite. I really like the peacocks. The sky looks a little bit better than how I did it here. It's great practice work, in my opinion. I, I love adult coloring. It actually really does relieve stress. Um, and just helps mellow yourself down. I like to color before I go to bed because it calms me down a lot. And then the waterfall, I like to burnish, I think it's what it's called, my water with the white Prismacolor because it just really makes it smooth. And then this one, I wanted to do these all in order but I wanted to wait until I could figure out how to color metal and still make it that shiny look. In this one, I wanted to color, instead of realistic, I wanted to make it a fantasy, like funky colors, like pink grass, purple trees, something weird. So I was waiting to get my Prismacolor set that I just got today. And this is the one I'm currently working on. And so I'm just really excited that I got my larger set of Prismacolors. So now I'll be able to just work on more things. I'm going to do a quick flip through of other pictures in case you're interested in this particular book. They have some really awesome pictures in here, and it has quotes on the other side that I like that kind of help you, I don't know, what the scene feel. Like with this one, the reason why I wanted to make it a nighttime scene was because this quote says, And in the evening everywhere, along the roadside up and down, I see the golden torches flare like lighted street lamps in the town. So that told me that like this was meant to be, you know, lit, and this is probably a dark scene. So again, I'll flip through here real quick. Here's like an, a nice cabin. Some of these pictures are super pretty. And here's like another little waterfall and a creek. Trees. Here's a like a park bench with a fountain. Again, the paper quality in this book is what really gets me. This is thick paper. It's not too thick and it's not too thin. It's just perfect paper for mixed mediums. And they have like the dots right here where you could rip these pages out if you want and it's already pretty much framed so that you can actually hang your artwork up in here. In fact, it encourages that. And the also good thing about this, I don't know about any other adult coloring book, but this gives you a color wheel as well. And it, it kind of gives you techniques and tips too, like use softer pressure to produce lighter tones, harder pressure for darker tones, complementary colors. And this tells you also, like, don't focus on being too realistic. This is yours. Make it how you want. Um, we've given you the perfect paper. We've given you where you can easily rip it out in case you want to frame your artwork. So I just really enjoy it. And this is the cover picture right here. So this is their version of it. And then you can create your own. 
And I kind of like how some of the pictures are like this, where it almost seems unfinished in a way. Um, same thing with this one that I did. You see how it sort of seems like it's unfinished? I don't know why I like that. I just, it just kind of feels like it, I, it frames it out in a different way. And I feel like this one would probably be another nighttime or really bright scene because there's so much area without shading. I feel like you're either working in the dark or with a lot of light. And then you see the different art style between that picture and these. That's why I feel like these should look more like painting. So if you had watercolor or water-soluble pencils, that would probably be, work really awesome with this. I like using, I like coloring these and making it look super pastel-y colors. And then here's a nice little cabin on the edge of the mountain it looks like. Again, another snow picture. I want to learn how to portray snow a, bo a lot better. And I don't know why, but this one reminds me of, like, Paris. I don't know. This looks like a lake, maybe. Here's your boat. Maybe they're out hunting or fishing. I like how there's just that one really big pretty tree here at the edge. Nice mountains. And look, there's a little hut right there, too. I didn't even notice. This one's really pretty to me because it's just simple, and I don't know. It just looks like a really pretty picture. Another train. I think there's only two pictures with trains in here, I'm pretty sure. And I believe there's only one picture with people actually in it. This is mostly focused on landscapes and areas. This is really beautiful. This is, you know, your surrounding benches and beautiful water fountain. And then there's a nice little cross bridge right there. Looks like a nice place that you would go to take pictures. Nice little town. And then just that lone bench right here. Looking over the lake or ocean or whatever it may be. And I like how there's a street lamp next to it as well. Like maybe you should make this a dark scene and really light that up and have it really glow out and sort of reflect off the water. This is the only picture I believe with actual like humans in it, and it's Fisherman. Another one of that like painting style, I call it painting style artwork pictures. I really like that nice lone big tree just there at the edge. My cats are playing in the Blick.com box. Another picture with that painting style artwork. That's really pretty. It's an archway and it almost looks like you're walking out of your mansion or castle or whatever right into the ocean. Right in your backyard. A nice little bridge and another cabin area. Looks like this could be a family park. Kayaking on the river. This one is really neat. This is a swamp picture. It might seem hard to tell because there's so much dark in there. I don't know. I feel like that would be really fun to color. But this, the quote for this one is, Here is the endless, wet, thick cosmos, the center of everything. And it's called Crossing the Swamp. I feel like you can make that pretty spooky if you wanted to. And the last picture, you get this nice little vacation van. And then back here, of course, it gives you the option to order their other books. They have... Ones with like mandalas or however you pronounce them. There's like animals, flowers, fish. Anyway, I really love this book. And I will make another video when I get my Pop Manga one and show you that one as well. Sorry you can see the marks of my camera holder there. But I just want to make this video as quick as I could. Get it out there to you guys. Let you guys know that I have been really into and enjoying adult coloring books. And I can't wait to get more and use my new Prismacolor color pencils. Um, and really this was more focused on just um, basically a adult coloring book flip through and also an unboxing of that Blick.com. Um, really well packaged. It, it came super quick. In fact, uh, at first it said that I wouldn't get it until like today that I'm filming this is Friday. And at first it said I wouldn't get it until like Wednesday, and then it said Monday, and then it said Saturday, and I ended up getting it Friday. So it came really quick. 
um, packaged wonderfully and it was really easy to work with them and I've heard from other people that have ordered from this website that if you have a problem they have no problem fixing your problem um, so if you're interested in art supplies, art materials I would definitely check out dickblick.com I'll leave a link to that video I did where I was showing you the price differences between different prism color sets on that website and I'll try to also leave a link to the website as well. If not, the link to the website is in that other video description box. Thank you guys again so much for watching. And I'll try to get um, my what I got for Christmas video out there as well pretty soon.